Greetings to the Young Marine News Network, all our viewers across the country. We are coming to you live from the National Cemetery of the Pacific, otherwise known as the Punch Bowl, where we just completed our Pearl Harbor Remembrance Ceremony this morning. Phenomenal event as always, great participation, young Marines, adult volunteers, family members, uh, really honored to have friends of, of Jack Holder, who was our guest last year, who passed last year. Just a great ceremony overall. You know, uh, let's talk to the chairman of the board, who was our keynote speaker. And now, Young Marines, we have a very special guest. With me today, we have Colonel Bill Smith, the Young Marine chairman of the board. Uh, young Marines, you're a part of a very, very special organization that does special things for the future of the United States. I really, really, very, very much appreciate all you do and all the adult volunteers that make all this possible. I also want to say to you that you are the future of our country. You're going to lead our country into all kinds of ways in the future, and we are right behind you because we believe in the promise of America, and we believe in you. Thank you very much. Very inspiring, sir. I really appreciate your time. All right. You know, Chairman Smith really does give his all for this program, nights and evenings. He and I spent a lot of time together talking about strategic planning for this program and making sure that we remain the best run youth program in this country. And part of that developing is manifested right here in your National Young Marine of the Year. Young Marine Sergeant Major Benson, glad to have you here with us again. Happy to be here, sir. Right. You know, we're really happy we don't have sunburns yet because we've been here like three days. <laughs> I said, but first up, then what we do? First thing we hit early in the morning for sunrise at the oh. Makapu'u Lighthouse Hike. What'd you think about that one? I mean, it was a beautiful hike. It's a nice scenic, right up the side of the mountain. You can look right into the ocean, blue as far as the eyes can see. It was truly beautiful, sir. Yeah, it was a really amazing trip. We had all the young Marines out there, you know, first thing in the morning, the weather was cool. We had a nice breeze, but the skies were clear. We could see all over different islands, just phenomenal. So many great pictures and memories that came from that. But you know, that was paved, easy, gradual slope up, couple of miles. The young Marines said to me, oh, Colonel Davis, we want to do more. One's we want something enough. more challenging. And so then, the Lanakai pillbox hikes. What'd you think of that one? Oh, man, sir, that's a little bit of a step up from the Makapu'u Lighthouse hike. Huh. It was entertaining, to say the least. <laughs> hey, here we are filming at the top of the Lanakai pillbox trail. Super arduous, <laughs> but we started the morning at Makapu'u. We did. That was a nice, easy path for all of our young Marines and adult volunteers to kind of get together for the first big event as a group here for Pearl Harbor Remembrance. And it's crucial to get everybody together to just get comfortable with each other before we start with more of our activities this week. Oh, yeah. But you know, like I said, the National Young Marines are saying, please, Carl Davis, something harder. So her and the other Division Young Marines that are standing around behind the camera said, let's do it. So here we are at the top of the Lanakai pillbox hike. Now what? <laughs> Gotta go back down, sir. <laughs> Man. Oh, yeah, here we go. Shin splints. Oorah. But hey, what a great day. What a beautiful day on the island. One more great event. But yeah, great first day on the island, getting out there, hiking, seeing nature. Beautiful weather, um, you know. And then we had a chance. Everyone had a chance to rest and recover. And the next morning, environmental cleanup project. Hoorah. All right, here we are doing our community service project. You know, here in years past, we have gone out to the beaches of Kaneohe Bay and cleaned up all the plastic, but this time we're trying something a little different. Our host unit, Pyramid Rock Young Marines, has been doing projects with the Malama Pu'u Loa Foundation here on the island, which is helping combat invasive species and other challenges for the natural resources on the island. So we're able to team with that organization here at the Kapapapui Park where we are doing an invasive species cleanup and being supportive of the place that we have come to visit to keep it just as beautiful as it always been. While we are here doing our community service event, I am joined by... Young Marine Private Parker. <laughs> and can you tell us a little bit about what's happening behind us? Um, so we're trying to help people who live here. We're trying to help them have a healthier environment. So right now we have a lot of different young Marines from different units participating in cleaning up all these invasive plant life. And before you can see the volunteers asking their ancestor for permission to enter this site because this 
uh, area has a lot of cultural value to the local inhabitants and we're just working to help them reclaim this area from all of these weeds and different invasive species that have taken over. Hello Young Marines, I'm Young Marine Sergeant Major Kua'uli, the Division 6 Young Marine of the Year. As you know, the Young Marines do a lot of work with veterans and today I have... Justin Goldman with the Travis Bannon Foundation. Yes, we've done a lot of work with them in the past at past ALS schools and now he's here with us in Hawaii. So if you want to tell us a little bit about it. Sure, so the Travis Bannon Foundation, Travis was a Marine, a graduate of the Naval Academy and he gave his life in service to his country, lending aid to a fellow Marine uh, while in operations in Iraq. The Travis Manning Foundation focuses on veterans and engaging communities, so I've been fortunate to be involved with a program called Character Does Matter, and I appreciate Young Marines giving me the opportunity to speak about that here today while we work here on the invasive species and the weeding effort. Thank you, sir. We really appreciate you being here today. It's very good for our kids to see uh, foundations like this partnering up with the Young Marines, so we really appreciate it. Absolutely. Happy to be here. Thank you for the opportunity. We are now in the thick of it, in the mud pit at Kapapapui Park. It's going great here today. A lot of motivated young Marines, adult volunteers in here doing this uh, great uh, cleanup of invasive species. Uh, big thanks to the Malama Pu'ola Foundation that are here uh, that oversee all these projects, not just here but around the island, to try and preserve the Hawaiian ecology the way it was meant to be. So a big part of what we do um, on the ground is removal of invasive species. Um, so to even get muddy and work in this place that we're at right now, we had to remove invasive mangroves. Um, the red, red mangrove species um, it was brought over in the 60s and to protect the shoreline, but it is just totally taken over. As well as putting native species back in the ground, because what's the point of removing the invasive species if we don't put the natives back in the ground? The things that are supposed to be here, um, and we intertwine that with bringing in other organizations trying to do the same thing we are, um, create community, create, create abundance for ourselves in Aina. So that's what we do here. And you know, when you listen to that, it's the same thing. When we're cleaning the beaches and we're taking out the plastic, when we're taking out invasive species, the ecosystem performs in a certain way. And when you introduce something that's not right for that ecosystem, it doesn't perform the way it's supposed to. And so I'll tie that again to our drug demand reduction message. When you introduce toxins into your body, your system doesn't work the way it's supposed to. So you always got to think about that as well. It's the same thing for Mother Nature as it is for you. But here we're just excited to be out here. We've got over 100 folks out there, young Marines, adult volunteers in it to win it. Um, just great opportunity and, and hopefully this makes some impact for you guys. Oh yeah, oh, I've yeah. seen a huge impact just from today. Oh, yeah. so, yeah. Thank Outstanding. You all for out Outstanding. Well, thanks again, guys. Yeah. Hoorah, Thank that's you. awesome. Thank you. You know, we promised you adventure at the Young Marines, and when it said prepare to get muddy, this time we really weren't kidding. Not at all. We are muddy. <laughs> well, most everyone's muddy. <laughs> Anyways, another great project here, very impactful, and everyone's here is excited that we're out here getting all this done. Amazing, amazing work. Just really motivated. So, a little bit more left, and then it'll be chow time, clean up, and everyone's got the rest of the day off before tomorrow when we do our memorial service. Yes, sir. And we'll see you there. All right, Young Marines, and now I'm joined with yours truly, Young Marine Sergeant Major Colin Draper, the Division Three Young Marine of the Year. And would you like to talk to all these Young Marines about kind of what's been going on the past couple months in the fall? Absolutely, so Young Marines across the nation have been supporting DDR Dash, Red Ribbon Week, and participating in the Young Marines Birthday Ball. So the DDR Dash the Young Marines participated in was a 5K, and this was a way to you know, get outside the unit and get out into the community and spread the awareness of drugs. Speaking of that, Red Ribbon Week was a whole week that was, you know, designated for drug demand reduction and to commemorate Kiki Camarino and the sacrifice he made for the DEA. Also in October, we had the Yummerine's Birthday Ball, where all the Yummerine's put on their dancing shoes, had the cake cutting ceremony, and also had guest speakers that really were there to influence the Young Marines to strive to do the best they can. All right, well, thank you. Thank you, Army Sergeant Major. Drug and Man Reduction is a huge part of the Young Marines program. Every year, Red Ribbon Week and other activities all around the country. But you know, we're really lucky right now because I'm joined by Young Marine Master Sergeant Parker from Potomac River Young Marines, one of our newest Young Marine units in Washington, D.C. 
And you all were selected for a very distinctive award this year. What was that? Yes, sir. We got the Fulcrum Shield Award. Fulcrum Shield Award yes, number sir. 13 for Young Marines. Hoorah! Hoorah Great job on that one. Thank that was you. awesome. Hey, so reading through that, um, what was one of the projects that you guys did that, that I just, I saw so many good things. What was a project that you remember fondly from that? Oh, of course. So we um, went to an organization and we were making jackets and we were writing different uh, DDR messages that we could wear around and show other people, you know, just to spread the message of living drug free. I mean, that, that was really creative. I, I saw the pictures, and there was more projects than that, but that was a really cool project, which of course caught the attention of the Office of the Secretary of Defense, who gave him the Fulcrum Shield Award this year. Now you got a little special deal at the end because you're in D.C. What was that? Of course, uh, we got to go into the Pentagon and have a tour of the Pentagon, and we learned some very cool and interesting facts in there as well. What was one of the facts that stuck that stuck out for you on that tour? Well, the one that stuck out to me was definitely the bulletproof glass that was the most expensive thing that was in the Pentagon, which is amazing. The most <laughs> expensive thing in the Pentagon are the windows, and there's like <laughs> several hundred thousand of those windows too. That was pretty cool. And at the end, you had a special guest come out and visit you all. Oh, of course. We had the Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps come in and talk to us a little bit about, you know, just thanking us and, you know, appreciating us for doing this stuff in the community. I'll tell you, Sergeant Major Ruiz, he's a motivator, isn't he? Yes, sir. He's yes, a good sir. guy. He's a good guy. Well, hey, congratulations again course, to you, you and your unit for winning the Fulcrum Shield Award 2023. That is great work. I know it wasn't just you, but your whole unit. Of course. Uh, but thanks for coming and telling us and sharing that story to the Young Marine News Network. Yes, sir. One of the great partnerships we have in the Young Marines program is with the Toys for Tots program. You know, Young Marines all around the country support Toys for Tots. Normally, with a, they're supporting Marine Corps League detachment near them. But a lot of times, Young Marines are directly engaged with Toys for Tots. And you know, when Lieutenant General Laster took over the Toys for Tots program a couple years ago, he actually ran into some Young Marines doing that. He was inspired to create the Youth Ambassador Program. And we have a special guest here, your Division I Young Marine of the Year, Young Marine Sergeant Major Suber. And tell us about what you did as a youth ambassador this year. So this year I was uh, all over uh, with our leadership program that we have uh, where we take a week-long leadership trip to Outdoor Odyssey uh, which is a program founded by a former Marine and he has just made it his mission to uh, empower youth and all sorts of different uh, Marine related and non-Marine related. You know Outdoor Odyssey Keep it in mind, you may see this again one day soon, young Marines. But now, so you're doing all this mentoring, but you were selected for something special this year. What was that? Yes, sir. This year I was made one of the Youth Ambassador Mentors of the Year for the Youth Ambassador Program for Toys for Tots. And that was awesome. And because of that, you got to go to? I was able to go out to the Hollywood Christmas Parade um, in California. And there I was awarded with the uh, National uh, Youth Ambassador of the Year, as well as we received a award of recognition from the city of Los Angeles. I'll tell you, it was phenomenal. I saw it over social media. Uh, they put it on the Hollywood uh, Christmas Parade, which supports Toys for Tots. Just really impressive. Congratulations on thank that you, one. Sir. So awesome for what you're doing. Yes, sir. Hoorah. Hoorah. All right, Young Marines, now I'm joined by Young Marine Gunnery Sergeant Chingas Bahador and Young Marine Sergeant Jason Parker. Young Marine Staff Sergeant Parker, would you care to tell us a little bit about the organization that you recently volunteered with? So, yes. Warrior Salute is a national nonprofit organization that raises money through raffles for all branches of service. I understand that there was uh, an interesting event that you guys participated through this organization. Would you care to sh tell us a little bit about yeah, it? Yeah, of course. So we came out uh, for the Veterans Golf Tournament. They usually, every year, they hold a tournament for the veterans to kind of come out, get together, join the raffle, and just to have fun. We came out, helped them with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And we drove around, watched the golfers, and we handed out box lunches. And once everyone came down, we did the raffle, and we served dinner. All right, well, thank you, Young Marines. Thank you. And remember, there's always plenty of veterans organizations out there, local to you. Make sure you're doing some research near you to find any. You know, that's a great point the Young Marine Sergeant Major Benson made there. You know, get involved with veterans in your area, not only supporting that event, but you know, veterans organizations in general. And we're so glad of our partnership, you know, starting with the Marine Corps League who founded us, working with the American Legion, Veterans of Foreign Wars, 
Military or the Purple Heart, so many great organizations supporting veterans at the national level, but also at the local level. And it always does my heart good when I see in our Young Marine news feed, Young Marine units out there supporting veterans, visiting the veterans' homes, supporting Veterans Day all around the country in so many ways. Young Marines, you do a great job of honoring their service to our country. And I know they appreciate it. I know as a veteran, I appreciate it. And so thanks for everything you do during Veterans Day from every parade and every color guard across the country. Hello, Young Marines. I'm Young Marine Gunny Sergeant Bahador, and we're here at the Veterans Memorial by the Elks Lodge. I'm here with Mr. Harry, one of the Vietnam War veterans. And this ceremony was amazing. I had an honor being here. It was our honor to have all you young Marine coming up. Uh, you're gonna carry on our legacy of all our veterans from World War II, Korean War, Vietnam War. So it's our honor that we see young men and women following our footsteps. You know, it's definitely great because as young Marines, part of our duty is veterans appreciation and veterans support. So this is amazing being here, interacting with all the veterans, and I had a blast. And what I would like to do is salute you, sir. Congratulations to the American Veteran Center Jimmy Trimble Scholarship Award winner, Young Marine Sergeant Emmeline Martin. With all of these set in stone, mandatory type events that we've been doing, don't get me wrong, they're fun, but there's much more to Hawaii. We have been taking advantage with all the young Marines from different units and just taking in everything that the island has to offer. But it is great that they have that chance to experience the new culture, the topography, the beauty of these islands. So I'm glad that we have some great footage to show you of other events by units around the island. I'm Young Marine Sergeant Major Benson. I'm Young Marine Sergeant Major Pua'uli. I'm Young Marine Sergeant Major Gooch. And I'm Young Marine Sergeant Major Draper. And we are here for some Pearl Harbor Remembrance activities, and we are blessed here with the presence of three newly graduated Young Marines. Young Marine, ben Young Marine Private Benjamin Lee. Young Marine Private Connor Lee. Young Marine Private Dominic Lee. Let me ask you guys, why did you join the Young Marines? Because... So we can be good citizens. <laughs> Solid answer. I like it. What about you? Um. So that we can learn to be to have um, to have citizenship and uh, and and doing leadership. Leadership, that's a good one. Awesome. One, two, three. Yeah! <laughs> And now, Young Marines, I am joined with Young Marine Sergeant Major Drake Gooch from Division Two. And it's kind of a solemn moment here with your retirement quickly approaching. I want to know, how does this whole, almost towards the end of your Young Marine career, making you feel? It's a lot of mixed emotions. I'm excited to finally end a really big chapter in my life. But it's also really sad because um, after this, the next step is college, so it'll be a struggle to try to still be with the Young Marine program and trying to be an AV, I won't be able to be involved as much. Is there any advice or anything you would like to give the Young Marines one last time? Any, any information or knowledge you can pick out of somebody's brain, go for it. 
reach out, shake someone's hand, and have a conversation. You never know what you can learn. So, everyone's getting rested up, doing activities around the island on their own time, but tomorrow morning, bright and early, we'll participate in the Marine Corps Base Hawaii, Kaneohe Bay Clipper Ceremony. What a lot of people don't realize is that, at the time, Kaneohe Bay was a naval installation, Navy installation, and was the first to be attacked at Pearl Harbor. Let's show you some footage from that ceremony now. So, you know, great event, great event, wrapping up today with our Pearl Harbor Remembrance, and then tomorrow it's on to the parade. So what a great evolution we're having here in Pearl Harbor and with the Remembrance events this week. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our annual Young Marines Memorial Service here at the National Cemetery of the Pacific. So as we give remembrance today on four score and two years ago, of what happened at Pearl Harbor and the sacrifices that many thousands of men and women made, we've got to remember these sacrifices because it's on us to remember, especially the young Marines, because you are our future. Take all these lessons, take all these acts of valor and service with you in your hearts, your minds, remember them because when you remember it and you pass it on, you perpetuate that story and that service and sacrifice. Hello everybody. My name is Young Marine Sergeant Major Isabella Benson and as you know, I come all the way from a little bit snowy, kind of rainy, cold Michigan. I gotta say this weather is quite nice, but we're here today to honor and remember the events of Pearl Harbor. This event is one that should never be forgotten. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. That is why we are here. We are here with the youth of today and the leaders of tomorrow to ensure that this story will never ever be forgotten. To ensure that this story can be passed on to their kids and to their kids following. And when they go back home, they can share with their family and their friends to make sure that the word from this event here today will not stop here. Hey everybody at the Young Marine News Network. We are here for the start of the Pearl Harbor Memorial Parade and I am joined by your Young Marine of the Year, Sergeant Major Benson. Hey, how are the Young Marines looking out there? Are they ready? Outstanding as always, sir. Motivated? Very. Ready to go? Always. Outstanding. All right, we got a whole formation of guidons. We got Young Marines carrying banners, which is gonna be super awesome. You know, that brings us now to the close of another great edition of Young Marine News Network. I mean, we try to pack so many activities into this 20 or 25 minutes, it doesn't even begin to tell the amazing stories of young Marines and our impact around the country. So I thank all of you young Marines for everything you do and the adult volunteers and the parents who help back them. You know, we're making a great impact unit by unit around the country with every mission we have. And this has been a, a great mission overall, Very. motivated for the young Marines, but also motivated for the, the culture we've impacted, uh, the veterans that we've met with and supported, and even some chance to help improve the local uh, environment. That so about I sums think it up. That about sums <laughs> it up. With that to be said, I think to close it out, Young Marine Star Major Benson. Signing off. <laughs>